yeah, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? Big B with Ironclad RC. Thank you guys for riding with me. <laughs> Got the mini outrigger project on the block. Gonna start the install. We're gonna start by modifying our strut and rudder to fit this boat. Gonna go over a few setup options that I have in mind for my boat, for my build. I also took the liberty of epoxying the inside of the tub, reinforced the boom tube holes, two or three layers of fiberglass mat with epoxy, and I epoxied the, the DIY homemade motor mount into place. So that's where the motor is gonna be. Now this strut, it's a little big. This is not a micro strut. It's a mini strut. It's stock form. You see where the screw is? That's as low, or I guess, depending on how you look at it, as high as you can move the strut in its stock form. I'm gonna have to elongate this hole. Kind of connect these holes, make it look good. Got it elongated. Not bad. So wherever you decide to put your strut base, you want to make sure, like your first run, you want it neutral. Basically in line with the with the bottom of the boat. And then you want room to adjust it up and down. I did was I cut a little piece of foam foam board and I kind of put it in the boat like so and I marked my my cable where it's gonna be and I just kind of brought it back to the back of the boat and marked it back here double check triple check with my with my straight edge and my adjustable ruler here uh, we're gonna drill this bad boy out and put the, the stuffing tube in The hole drilled. Looks straight to me. So now we gotta put our little bend in it. Get this bad boy epoxied in. Uh -huh. Let's check our work. We made this setup board basically for this purpose. Um, so our stuffing tube is coming straight out of the collet. It, it's riding the shaft here, you see? Um, you see our AOA angle? right here where the hull comes up to the front of the tub that's basically our AOA angle of attack our stuffing tube is riding that AOA angle and it starts like right here you can't really see it but the stuffing tube is laying flat right here flat on the bottom of the boat on the bottom of the tub here and where it starts to ride up which is the AOA that's stuffing tube is actually hugging that AOA angle that's why I made this motor mount special for this boat and didn't use this guy right here I had this specific angle that I found for it and it's actually working perfect okay I think we can deal with seven an extra millimeter that's like a cunt hair over what we need uh, so I'm gonna show you I want to start with a neutral position completely neutral you see that it's not touching my my ruler it looks like it's about the same height all the way down I think she's ready to be epoxied in we're gonna tack it in place with five minute tomorrow I'll probably uh, do the 24 hour
I got I got it marked out. Got all my holes marked here. Straight up and down. What I did was I just used my adjustable ruler and I drew a center line. I used that center line kind of as a reference. Also used my seam at the top of the boat as a reference. I just kind of put it where I thought it should be. Mark the holes, and now we're gonna we're gonna drill it out. All right, that looks perfect, y'all. That looks perfect. I get some screws ready, and we're gonna go ahead and kind of not gonna mount it up permanently I'm just gonna kind of tack it in place so I can see what we need to do with the rudder because it is tight back here I got the strut in perfect in my opinion I made a boo-boo here my first mistake with this build uh, my rudder is gonna be mounted here correct I'm probably gonna have to make it like out here I'm gonna have to make a new bracket for it in order for this to work my servo linkage would be kind of at an angle like this. That's not really what I wanted. I think I need to mount my servo on this side. It's tight, tighter than a mosquito pussy. It's tight in here, I'm telling you guys. So, when you guys get this boat, go micro, go light. Actually gonna, it's gonna kill my space back here. I won't be able to get a, a LiPo battery in this back area, which is really what I wanted to do. So, with it laid down like that, that's killing me. You see that? Got it uh, switched around, got a piece of tape on it. See if it clears the battery, because that's what we wanted. If that battery gets bumped or moved around the least little bit. You want your weight toward the rear, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, if you're doing straightaway passes with a rigger, you want your weight in the rear so that the prop gets the water. If you're doing like ovals, the CG on the rear of your sponsons. But if you're doing straightaway passes, you want your weight on the back third. All right, all right. So after two hours of deliberation different configurations taking apart putting back together flipping over switching around moving back and forth back and forth putting batteries in making sure i got clearance cutting screwing moving oh <laughs> yeah yeah, I gotta love boat building, you guys. Gotta love it. Let's get some voltage going. Yeah, all right, all right. That's one of my options. I think this thing will scream on 2S, but it's the Ironclad RC. Straight away screaming, baby.
All right, so after two days, two whole days, I have permanently installed the servo mount right back where we started. <laughs> I did trim off maybe four millimeters on the side and four millimeters off the bottom of the servo mount to get it a little bit tighter in this corner did flip the rudder base over i also flipped this bracket to the other side i will countersink my hardware and probably chamfer the edge of the rudder so it doesn't create any drag so now the next step is to install all the hardware right now it's just dry fitted onto the boat I have I would say personally say that this is a terrible geometry angle but it's working I like it better than mounted on the other side because the geometry would have been even worse also we would have had to contend with the battery on this side so yeah we, we went with this option I think it's gonna work out perfect um, my rudder is basically directly in line with the outside of the tub I'm just gonna run my my rudder linkage closer to the servo center gives me plenty of throw for my right hand turns and it should get me a little a little throw on my left hand turn uh, we'll have to see once we get it in the water 2s y'all 2s 2s that's a torquey little motor that's why I went with the long can. Now, longer cans, from what I understand and my experiences with longer can motors, they have more torque than a shorter canned motor. So that's kind of why I went with this long can. You get more torque, that means more power to the prop. You could throw bigger props if you want. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, alright, so uh, I'm actually using some Loctite Marine Adhesive Sealant. I really like that stuff, but I'm putting the, the strut on and the rudder due to foul language. I will not be uh, recording the whole process, but I am mounting everything up in its rightful place. So I put a little dab of the sealant on my finger. I use it to hold my washer in place. And then I put my washer on my on my screw. And I use my flex driver. I recommend this flex driver if you do a lot of boat building. It comes in handy with RC cars as well, but mostly I use it for the for boat building. really get in there see that I, I, I wouldn't have been able to get my screws in if I didn't have this flex driver I used every pair of pliers I had to try to get in there I even used tweezers to get in there but this flex driver right here did the trick no problems We've got a piece of fiberglass laminate sheet that I had left over from the motor mount. I'm going to use that as a brace for the stuffing tube. Just kind of set it in place. We did the same thing on this. We, was, we made our little epoxy uh, dams so the epoxy will go in these holes and lock this into the boat. It won't slide out or anything. Alright, just glassed it in. Gotta wait for it to dry. Everything's moving freely. Secured in place, huh? Uh, yeah, we've got everything sealed up. I've got 
everything installed basically I uh, used a, a WD-40 can straw for my my rudder linkage uh, through hole um, got the servo in its rightful place you see what I mean about having the room now with the servo mounted on the same side as the rudder uh, I went through a lot of problems with my servo I hope my problems help you guys with your build um, got the 4s in it battery here battery here ESC receiver box is hiding down there motors mounted up second part will be out shortly uh, we're gonna epoxy the boom tubes into place finalize the whole setup of the boat and do a water run on the next video I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it was long but there was a lot of good information in it. Oh yeah, let's weigh this thing up. Let's see what she, this overbuilt pig of a mini weighs up to. Let's see here. Almost two pounds, 1.15.9. So that's around 860 grams. Now guys are running these boats ultra, ultra light 2S, which is what this boat is designed for. 2s 2s uh in this mini rigger now i'm running 4s just to just because we can <laughs> so so yeah yeah I, I don't recommend you guys doing the 4s build unless it comes out running perfect then i strongly suggest you guys going this route but i would definitely uh go ultralight if you're going to do the 2s build or this mini mini frp build from uh, eBay so it's a nice little boat it's awesome I can't wait to see it running uh, it's been a fun build frustrating fun but we had to come up with some clever ways to install a few different uh, components so it was fun thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe ring the bell and all that good stuff so you guys can get notified for the second part uh, we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching